This week I wanted to learn 4 balison tricks, from beginner level to advanced. Every balison has a safe handle and a bite handle. And even if I'm using a trainer which has no blade because I, I can't end it my fingers, the goal of every trick is to never get your fingers stuck between blade and bite handle. I decided to start with the easiest and most common move, the basic open. To begin, grab the knife from the safe handle and flip it over the back of your hand. Now rotate the knife 180 degrees to move the blade downwards. Then by moving the thumb out of the way and flipping the knife up, the trick is done. The theory is pretty simple. My brain was sure I was gonna do it easily, but when I actually tried, my hand had a different opinion. I totally felt like a Neanderthal man figuring out how to use objects for the first time. My movement was extremely mechanic at first, but I kept trying one step at a time and slowly I started to get more confident. At this point I tried to blend the three steps in one single fluid motion. By holding the knife loosely and let your wrist do all the work, the 180 degree rotation happens almost automatically. At a certain point my knife wasn't touching my knuckles anymore. It took me a bit of practice but after about 50 minutes my movement became smooth and fast, and the three steps became two circular movements. This trick works also backward. Once you open the knife by repeating the same motion, you can easily close it. And the sound, the sound it makes when you close it is really beautiful. The second trick is called Y2K, and it's fundamental to learn the last trick of the list. And it basically consists in spinning the knife around your thumb. If you saw my pen spinning video, the Y2K is basically the sharp version of the thumb around. This time, grab the knife from the bite handle, holding it between index finger and thumb. By pulling the index finger inwards and bending the wrist, we should make the knife spin around the thumb. At this point, release the index finger and let the knife spin until you can catch the safe handle with the other finger. Then move your thumb away and bring the knife back up. So spin around your thumb, catch with the other fingers and flip the balison back up. And as expected, when I first started practicing I simply kept throwing the knife far away from me in many different weird directions. I really had a hard time figuring out the right power to use for the first move. It was always not enough or too much. So I've been forced to practice on my bed for about 20 minutes. At first I couldn't see improvements, but then suddenly it clicked. If you use your arm, and not just your wrist, it gets way easier. This is with the wrist, and this is with the arm too. <laughs> I kept practicing until the movement was more fluid and I started getting good results. Then I kept trying to make my movement faster and smoother, and in the end I was pretty happy with my Y2K. You can also perform this trick vertically if you like it. You simply need to change the angle of the rotation around the thumb. The next move is called Zen Rollover, and it's similar to the Y2K but harder, and it's necessary to achieve the last trick. This time, instead of grabbing the knife from the bite handle, we hold the safe handle with index finger and thumb. And because of that, after spinning the balisson around the thumb, the sharp side of the blade will fly against your hand. To avoid that, you need to perform another move, the wrist pass. The theory is pretty simple, hold the bite handle and flip the knife over your hand. And when you flip it back, the blade will fly towards your fingers. So you need to turn your palm upside down and point your wrist downwards. This movement will transfer the momentum and make the other handle come at your hand instead of the blade. But at first, when I started trying the wrist pass, I really couldn't get it right. Then I realized that to perform this move correctly, you simply need to hold the bite handle with the last three fingers. That's it. As soon as I applied this tip, I could finally get a good wrist pass. And after a while, I got faster. Butterfly knives are illegal in Italy, by the way. Imagine my neighbors see me practice like this all the day. Anyways, by simply combining wrist pass and Y2K, you'll be able to get the Zen rollover. The last trick is called Helix and it's absolutely beautiful. I tried intuitively for a while, but I couldn't do much. I'm sorry, I, ca <coughs> I can't hear this sweet sound anymore. Beautiful. Then I watched probably 20 tutorials. We start with the Y2K grip, so holding the bare handle, and we perform a Y2K. And here is where things start to get complicated. We have to catch the knife with the bottom three fingers, letting the index finger pointing out. I had to practice for a while to get used to it, but then it got pretty intuitive. Then we put the index finger on the safe handle and we turn the palm downwards. This move should cause the knife to spin horizontally. So Y2K, catch with three fingers, index in front and turn the hand upside down. At this point we catch the safe handle with the thumb and index finger, forming a sort of OK symbol. Then we bring the hand upside down once again, performing a Zen rollover and the trick is done. Well, it's complicated. 
<laughs> but practice is the only way to make complicated things become easy. So I started practicing step by step. I threw myself into it, not caring too much about the technique, but with the only goal of keeping the knife in the air. I failed for an entire hour, but after that, I was completing the trick in some way. Even if my movement was extremely mechanic, at least right now I was finishing all the steps. And this was enough to make me extremely excited. The goal now was to get it cleaner, faster, and blend the four steps together. I kept trying over and over for hours, and slowly, I was kinda getting better at it. In this type of skills, it is extremely easy to see the progress you get through practice. The more I was getting better, the more I was excited to try again. Don't get me wrong, I kept failing consistently, but it was all worth it for the single time I was getting it right. And even if this trick seemed literally impossible, in the end I was pretty happy with the result. Yeah! This was nice! These tricks are extremely fun and relaxing after you learn them. <laughs> Subscribe, follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next week with a new skill.